crisp sound. So yes, it's it, it has lows. Yeah, I can I can show you that it has lows as well. But I don't use a lot of them. I use more of the highs because of the uh, the voice. I want I want to make hey, 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 hey. I wanted to be crispy. I notice a lot of ventriloquists have a sound. They have sound systems that don't have trouble and bass controls, and it doesn't make any sense to me how they can go in there and you hear the guy going. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You need ah. it's high, it's clean, crisp, fresh. You know. I don't know how much time I got here. Are we, where are we, Kenny? Are we okay? Oh, I got no 11:30. I got what? I got 10 seconds. <laughs> my wife. That's my wife. All right. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Yes. Countering. Do I have a formula for copywriting? Yeah. You know that's interesting. Uh, I, I don't know if I have a formula. I, I I try to pull from different sources. I try to see. You have to see the world in a different way. It's always. I, I love humor and comedy, but you have to see everything skewed. You can't see everything the way it is. You have to see it from another angle. And so when you say you have a, uh, I'm always looking for what's different about it. Steve Martin wrote a great joke. Uh, and he's a brilliant man, he's brilliant. He wrote, I like a woman with a good head and shoulders. And underneath that he wrote, because I hate necks. <laughs> How skewed do you have to be to see that? You know what I'm saying? You cannot be the person, you can't take things at face value. You have to see them in an opposite or different or alternate way. The best way to do it too is you take the premise. I like a woman of the head and shoulders. You take that premise and then you take little lines and draw them up all around like the sun. And you write, what's the opposite of that? What's like it? What sounds like it? What would be something totally different in it? What connects to it? What, and you look at all these connections of the sun around the actual line, and then you find the humor between those points, and then you put it together. That's the simplest way, I guess, to put it, if you want to like write jokes. But that's one way, there's a lot of ways, but that's one way. But joke jokes are the basis of all comedy. I, I encourage everybody to take comedy classes. There's a guy, great guy who uh, has a comedy line, uh, class online, and you can write jokes, and then he helps you. I don't even know his name, I think it's... No, Steve Royce was... Uh, no, it wasn't Bob Wade teaches jokes. I didn't know that. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Joke jokes, I mean like, uh, you know, a guy walks into a bar and jokes, simple one-two punchy jokes. Uh, I was gonna tell one last night, I didn't do it because I thought it'd be offended. But, uh, no, it wasn't Bob the bar. No, if you guys email me, I'll send you the uh, link to this guy. Uh, he's in LA, he was like, I don't know if he's, he's a, no, he writes, he wrote all like sitcoms in the 70s and stuff and now, He's a great writer. No, this can turn into a question and answer. We'll figure out who the guy is. My email? Oh, it's a vent dummy at gmail. V E N T at dummy at gmail. Oh, yeah, vent dummy. It's the one I really wanted, but I took it. So, what's that? No. No, it's not Robert Orme, he's dead. That's another thing, it's looking towards the past. You want to look towards the future, more, more good jokes for the future. But um, anyway, close to this whole thing, I, I just want to tell you folks, um, I'll end up with this joke I was going to tell last night that I didn't tell. I hope it doesn't give offense. Nah, it should be. I changed it, I made it clean. Yeah, I'll play for it. So, there's this big con stuttering convention. <laughs> good night. <laughs> the big staring convention. And, and they're all in there. There's old people all trying to learn not to do it. And the teacher's there in front of the gavel and tell everybody how to do it. And this beautiful woman walks by the lobby and goes, I can make those guys stop stuttering just like this. She walks in the room and says, any one of you men right now, I will give you the big juiciest kiss in the world if you tell me what state you're from and don't start. Everyone's hand goes up. The first little guy walks over and goes, she goes, where are you from? He goes, Nebraska. She goes, I'm sorry, you have to say it clearly. You lose. Next time, looks over and goes, where are you from? He goes, Mi Michigan. She goes, I'm sorry, I gotta say it clearly. Third guy, little old guy, comes over. Where are you from? He says, I go like this. Miami. <laughs> How was that? Bitch. <laughs>
we have a couple of announcements to make, so please listen carefully. If your badge has a blue line through it, that means that you will not be going over to the show. That's because you can't register for 